Direct USB recording is a special feature of the Fireface UFX, UFX2, UFX Plus and the new UCX2. In this video we show a few examples of storage media that can be used successfully for Durek. The Fireface UCX2 can record and playback up to 40 channels of audio through its Durek USB port. This functionality is provided by the internal DSP. It is independent from a Windows or Mac computer connected via USB, so can be used as second backup recording as well as the main recording in standalone mode. Compared to a computer, the Durek USB port has a limited buffer to compensate for interruptions of the write process. Unfortunately, such interruptions occur quite often with USB thumb drives and are sometimes of an astonishing duration. The effectiveness of the internal buffer also depends on the amount of data to be transmitted, which is the combination of sample rate and channel count. The higher the data rate, the shorter the available buffer time. When a storage medium causes a pause that is longer than this buffer time, data is lost. To determine the highest record channel count of a hard drive or USB thumb drive, the UCX2 displays several values. Press the record play button to bring up the main transport display. It shows two important values. USB load should exceed 80% only for a short time. Errors. Each single error means a buffer with a bigger block of samples has been lost. Also, that is not always audible. Only a display of zero errors is acceptable. The same information is available in the Do Recorder panel of the Total Mix FX. There, USB load is shown as HD, like hard drive. Press the record play button a second time to bring up the record info display. It shows another important value, maximum read-write time. This constantly updated value is the quickest way to identify slow media that suffer from interruptions of the write process. Quick media like SSD and hard drives show values in the range of 80 to 100 milliseconds, even at full channel count, while some brand name thumb drives can show more than 800 milliseconds. Different USB media can be used for recording, but USB thumb drives, even USB 3 versions, are often too slow to record more than a few channels. With the UCX2, to determine the maximum channel count of a medium, activate 16 channels at a sample rate of 192 kHz. This configuration causes the highest data throughput of 8.2 MB per second with the smallest internal buffer time. Most hard drives manage an error-free recording until the drive is full. In case the UCX2 shows errors, reduce the number of channels step by step until no errors are shown anymore. Why 16 channels at 192 kHz? These equal 32 channels at 96 kHz and 64 channels at 48 kHz. Now on a 40 channel interface, you can't activate 64 channels, but you can have that load when using double or quad speed sample rates, so the ultimate test is done at higher sample rates. Now you might say you will never use Durek with that channel count. A more realistic example is the recording of all 20 inputs and of two more submixes, summing up to 24 channels. The data transfer is then reduced to 3.1 MB per second. Better USB sticks will easily handle this task. Unfortunately, the display of USB load, max write time and errors quickly reveals where the limit of the particular thumb drive lies. And please note that playback is usually not affected by these performance problems. An example of a USB thumb drive that handled the maximum transfer bandwidth error-free was the ZanDisk Extreme Memory Thumb Drive. This masterpiece is still our internal reference. It works without any noticeable write pausing under USB 2. In fact, it acts like a black hole. Data sent to it are taken without any effort. That stick can easily write 40 channels at 96 kHz on the UFX Plus at USB loads below 90% and read write times below 100 milliseconds. Here's the proof. When Western Digital bought Sandis some years ago, the controller of this particular model was changed and performance from then on was totally disappointing. Yes, a thumb drive that can transfer many megabytes per second via USB 3 can still be junk when it comes to simple and comparatively slow USB 2 usage. Another example is this cheap thumb drive, the Exis Superb 64GB USB 3.1, which is advertised with 400 megabyte per second read speed. 
Such a high read speed means the device uses an SSD controller inside, which should guarantee perfect Durek performance with an advertised write speed, in this case of 115 megabyte per second. Remember, we need less than 10 megabyte only. And indeed, there are reviews where this stick reached that write speed. But the one that I got does not. It is limited to around 60 megabyte per second and fails as USB 2 Durek media even with a lower track count of the UCX2. That's quite disappointing. The opposite is true for the formerly quite expensive flagship Zandis Extreme Pro thumb drive. This one has 128GB capacity and is advertised as USB 3.2 solid state flash drive with a write rate of 380MB per second. And indeed, as you can see here, with 80 channels active, it is the same black hole as our former favorite. And the even better news is that this stick is currently sold for less than 40 bucks. All I can say is grab it while you can. Not only for Durek, this one is simply fantastic for any kind of usage. Fortunately, these days there are some interesting alternatives to SSD-based thumb drives, even at low costs. SSD-based hard drives. Use a cheap SATA SSD, add a cheap USB 3 to SATA adapter cable, format the SSD to FAT32 and full performance will be available. Mobile hard drives, often directly with USB port. These old dogs usually work ok and can be used perfectly after formatting them to FAT32. Micro SD cards. Used in a small SD to USB adapter, they look like a miniature thumb drive. These cards are built not to have the dreaded write pause because in cameras, which are their main application, there's not much memory for buffering. Fast serial shots as well as high resolution videos have the same demand as Durek. And these micro SD cards are not expensive. Note the exact type details for best performance. The card should have U3 and V30 specification. Also note that these cards are usually formatted as XFAT. They need to be wiped completely, a new volume created and formatted with FAT32 to work with Durek. The cards shown here all handle the full Durek track count of an USU6-2 and as such clearly outperform the EXE not superb thumb drive. 